So this is our nephron, and let's talk a little bit about why we need a nephron. Well, if you remember, when we talked about the fluid that gets squeezed out of the glomerulus, we mentioned that some of the things that get squeezed out include amino acids and glucose. And amino acids are what we use to make proteins, and glucose is what we burn for energy. So these are not things that we want to urinate out. These are things we want to keep. And so one of the important roles of the nephron is to get these amino acids and these glucoses out of the filtrate and put them back into the body. And actually, it's not only amino acids and glucose. It's also things like sodium and chloride, so salt, as well as water. And now we said way back in the beginning that we sometimes want to excrete salt and water because we want to be able to keep a constant amount of salt and water in the body. But the amount that gets squeezed out through the glomerulus is usually too much, so we end up wanting to reabsorb a bunch of it so that we don't lose too much salt and water. And now a question you might have is, well, we're talking about reabsorbing these things, and we're showing them kind of hopping out of the nephron, and we'll talk about the details of how that works. But once they hop out, where do they go? Do they kind of just float off and hang out in the tissues of the kidney? And the answer is, of course, they don't. We want to get them back out to the rest of the body. We don't want to just keep them in the kidney. And so what happens actually is that they go into the peritubular capillaries. So if you remember, the peritubular capillaries came off of the efferent arterial. So that's how I'm drawing them here, coming off the efferent arterial. And these peritubular capillaries are able to pick up these things that you've reabsorbed, the amino acid and the glucose and the water and the salt. And so they pick those things up. They put them back into the bloodstream, and that way all these things are able to get back to the rest of the body where you need them. So it's kind of funny. We have all these things being squeezed out of the blood coming through the glomerulus, and then almost immediately they're put right back into that same blood in the peritubular capillaries. And that might seem a little circular, so we'll talk a lot about why we go through this trouble in the next couple of units.